this weather, right? Yes. After all we've been through in we February. Do. Yeah, we've had some rough winter weather lately, but uh, mm -hmm. today is going to be a nice quiet day, just like yesterday. We're going to see some clouds, but sun as well, and temperatures will be at or just above normal. Uh, normal highs, low 40s. That's where we were yesterday. Today we should push into the mid 40s. And we're starting off right at 32 degrees, so it is cold now, but it'll feel a little bit better as the day goes on. 45 at 3 o'clock and then 46 at 5. Dry weather right on through the drive home later today. Not too windy. We'll have an east wind coming in fairly light between 5 and 10. Uh, things get messy over the weekend. We have a really good chance for rain Saturday. We could have some heavier downpours. There's the potential for some thunder as the winds crank up Saturday night. They're going to stay really gusty on Sunday. We may see a few morning showers around, but then we'll dry out as we start to turn cooler Sunday afternoon. Wind alerts Saturday night through Sunday evening. We have a high wind watch in effect. This may be upgraded to either an advisory, but most likely a warning as we're expecting some really strong winds over the weekend. So those west winds are going to pick up Saturday night into Sunday. They're going to be coming in between 30 and 40 miles per hour sustained, gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour. And the strongest wind will happen late Saturday night and right on through the day Sunday. Tree power line damage is expected as some of those stronger gusts. We could also have some minor property damage. And of course, hazardous driving conditions, especially if you drive a larger vehicle. Uh, just remember to secure any outdoor items that you have around the trash can any decorations out in the yard. You'll want to make sure that they're uh, brought in if you can because it is going to be quite gusty. This morning, not too bad. We're starting off with some high clouds, but generally quiet conditions. A system to our south will stay to our south today, but developing low pressure across the central part of the country, that's what will head our way for the upcoming weekend. Strengthening as it moves eastward. Future track has the clouds around at times today, but the sun will get through them, just kind of filtering that sun at lunchtime, and that'll be the story for the drive home at five. Still nice and quiet. If you have evening plans, no threat of any showers then. It's not until early tomorrow morning that we'll see maybe a few showers around at 7 a.m. A better chance will come after 9 a.m. Uh, so around lunchtime tomorrow, it looks like a good chance of some scattered showers with heavier downpours. The real heavy rain arrives late in the day, so that comes in after four o'clock clock in the afternoon and the potential will be there for some rumbles of thunder in this some minor localized flooding the real severe weather threat just off to our southwest there's a, actually an enhanced risk down across uh, portions of Arkansas Tennessee but for us we're just on the edge of that marginal threat that could get pushed a little farther north we'll have to keep an eye on it Today we're up to 46, a partly sunny, chilly, dry afternoon. Overnight will cloud up, dropping to 38, and tomorrow up to 58, feeling like spring. It'll be breezy, and we'll have a really good chance for rain and a slight chance that we'll get some thunderstorms going. Windy conditions Saturday night into Sunday. Some morning showers, then we'll be dry in the afternoon, but we turn chilly with an early high of 46. Next week looks chilly, below normal temperatures for most of the week. Generally, highs are going to be in the upper 30s.